Here we go. The windup and pitch. Curve strike. One and one. And Ashburn didn't like the call. Ashburn uh, wishes the bat vigorously at the dirt. He didn't like that last call. Figures that might have been a big, uh, big pitch for him. 2-0 instead of 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike. Richie Ashburn up has popped up, grounded out inside the left. Sal Magley now. And can't you just imagine how Sal feels out there? He needs one more big out to gain another little niche of baseball immortality. Oh, I tell you. It's a real feeling. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Pop foul to the left. Robinson gives it a try, and it's in the stands, about four rows back. Robbie went to the railing and almost dived in to get that ball. One and two, the count on Richie Ashburn. And now, Sal is within one strike of getting that big out. Reese rubs it up again. If he gets Ashburn, you won't be able to hear us. All you'll be able to hear will be the roar of the crowd, I'm sure. They're standing up. One and two. Two outs from the ninth. Magley's pitch. Five ball foul to the left and out of play. Down in the stands again. And Robinson running over for that one. Just wishing he had a string on it so he could pull it back into the field of play. Oh, boy. And again, Pee Wee rubs up the ball. Sal rubs it up now. Ashburn steps out. One ball, two strikes. Two outs in the ninth. Fans going crazy. Here's the pitch. Hit him on the foot. And so Ashburn will take first. Hit by a pitch ball on the game continues. Ashburn draws booze now. He was a little unhappy about being hit. And another left-hand batter, Marv Blaylock, will come on. Time now as Magley, Reese, and Robinson have a brief talk. Robbie goes on back to third. So the tension breaks for a moment as Ashburn is walked and takes first. And Lucky Strike sending you all the action. Sal fires it over to Hodges now to let Gill rub it up. He asked Gill to put a little luck on it. Marv Blaylock has slide to left, grounded out to second, grounded out to first. Well, pull out that pack of luckies, light them up here, and just uh, lean back and let's see what happens now. Two down in the ninth, one on. Ashburn, the third base runner. Here's Magley out of a stretch, delivers. Foul ball off the bat as Blaylock tried to check his swing. Strike one. When he got that count down to one and two on Ashburn, lost are really going here. Fans started standing up. They started way down in right field and then uh, just kept moving on up. Strike one count to Blaylock. Here's the stretch. The look to first to Ashburn. The pitch. A bouncing ball to second baseman. Gilliam up with it. Play to first. No hitter for Magley. Now Magley's being mobbed by his teammates, fans, everyone out of the stands after Sal Magley, the hero of Brooklyn, who has done a tremendous job, a no-hitter for Sal Magley here against the Phillies, as Mar Playlock hit a routine ground ball at the second baseman Jim Gilliam, and you could just feel Gilliam squeeze that baseball and make an accurate, careful throw to Gil Hodges in time to get Playlock and retire the side and end the ball game, and for Sal Magley... A 39-year-old veteran with a great comeback, the oldest pitcher to have a no-hitter since Cy Young in 1908, got one at the age of 41, and for Sal, a great one. Well, Benny, that was quite a ball game and quite a finish. What have you got to say, boy? Well, Mr. Sal Magley certainly has had his ups and downs. You can remember that name way back when, when he and a pitcher by the name of Adrian Zabala first came to the New York Giants. Remember when they used to warm up in the bullpen, Magley and Zabala. And they were both ball players who are not too well known. 
Zabala eventually went out into obscurity, and Magley, for that matter, you remember, went down into the Mexican League. He and Georgie Hausman of the Giants, we remember, went down there a couple, along with a couple of other ball players. And Magley returned to the Major Leagues, and what a star he was for the New York Giants. One of the most feared pitchers in the National League, and certainly one of the great ones through the years starting of 1951. Magley, of course, constantly the Dodger beater. So many times he walked to the mound and made Brooklyn so sorrowful. But tonight, Magley has repaid all the grief and all the sorrow he has brought to the Brooklyn Borough. For tonight, he won a ball game the Dodgers felt they had to win. What is most important, and I imagine it is most important in Magley's mind right now, not so much the no-hitter, but first of all, they did cut the brave lead to the half a game. And I imagine Magley sitting downstairs right now can just sit back and glow for 39 years old in a, well, a season for him that was remarkable. He was not doing too much for Cleveland, and the ball club purchased him. And I think when he was first purchased, you remember a mark saying, well, he'd have spot relief duty, he might start once every 10 days. But instead, it was the veteran Sal Magley who has been helping the Dodgers all year, ever since the day was purchased, to keep them in the pennant race. And tonight, as he walked out to the mound on a very cold evening, and from the sixth inning on, Magley was fighting not only the Phillies and his no-hitter and his shutout in the complete game, but he himself was fighting the cold wind that was blowing in from left field. And after the sixth inning, every time Magley went out to the mound, he kept pinwheeling his arms back and forth to try and loosen up those shoulder muscles. On so many occasions this year, remember Magley had made 24 other starts and completed only seven. On so many other occasions, Magley had stiffened up. And this was a night where you would expect 39-year-old Bones to begin to tighten up a bit, especially with that north wind right on his back throughout. But Magley just kept reaching back for more and more, and eventually gave Brooklyn one of the big thrills of the year as he pitches the no-hitter against the Phillies. It was quite a night, one we'll long remember, this September the 25th, 1956. So, hats off to Sal Magley, a great competitor in one of the brightest moments of a long career.